Okay, so here is how we get students from nothing to tandem instructor level in just 10 days at Super Training. Let's take a look at this video. Now, he started on, I believe it was a large, and he's worked down size after size after size as his skills progressed, all the way down to, this is his very first flight on an extra, 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 extra small. So the things to look for are the pitch control, keeping the glider perfectly loaded, as well as the oscillation control so he's not swinging all over the place because it gets more and more difficult as you go to smaller and smaller sizes, as well as you have to look for the perfect launch where he's using every detail of glider control and perfected technique, and also a perfect landing where he's coming into ground level and then basically foot dragging to a landing as he burns off the brakes. These all have to be critical. Now, the cool thing is that you don't actually learn to do tandems by doing tandems. It's just something you can do when you master the skills. So if you can master these skills on a 14 square meter glider, then doing tandem on something like a 28, 29 square meter is a similar wing loading. Actually, it's probably more difficult on the 14 square meter. So we make sure that they master the skills first and then we work them towards tandem. So let's just take a look at this video. Back up, back up. Right the, this up. is his very first break. flight right up, on a right 5XS right Dominator, right which is only a 14 square meter glider. Nope, uh, obviously he has full control of the glider. At Super Training, you know, we're not launching them and helping kiting them. They have to do everything themselves. Takes off, the watch's oscillation control, the glider's not swinging around. Beautiful launch, very nice climb out, no oscillation, very, very clean. Everything just looks beautiful. Okay, so watch the landings coming in. He's got to come to ground level, then round out just like an airplane. So an airplane doesn't come in and land into the ground like this. It comes to the ground, then goes horizontal down the runway until it bleeds off the airspeed, and then it gently sets down from that angle. So the glide slope is very, very important. It's one thing for people to get chucked in the sky on some huge 30 square meter where you could screw that up totally and get away with it. But watch this landing. It's just absolutely beautiful, comes in, burns it in. Also, he's doing it over and over and over. You don't just have him do it once and then edit out, you know, all the tries and just show where he got it. You're noticing him do it over and over and over. So the skill is repeatable. He's doing the same things. He has perfect control of it one step at a time. Beautiful climb out. I mean, if you can climb out perfectly with no torque, no oscillation on a 14 square meter. Obviously, you'll have no trouble at all on a tandem and be able to maintain perfect control. Again, just look at this landing. Burns it in beautifully, brings the glider to a stop, then re-accelerates. He's got all pieces, one, two, three, four, because you gotta bury all the brakes to landing, regain control, hands back up for running, accelerate the glider again, then break to pop back off the ground. And once in your air, your hands go back up. So it's one, two, three, four, all the distinct pieces. And it has to be done perfectly with the exact fraction of an ounce of pressure. Not enough pressure, glider can overfly you. Too much pressure, glider can stall behind you. All at the same time, you're perfectly controlling left and right. Plus you also have to control the weight so that when you're coming in, you're not dumping the weight into the ground, which would cause you to fall down. You're transitioning that weight and loading from the glider perfectly down to the ground where you're stepping off light as a feather. So again, touch and go over and over. Just watch this landing closely for all of those pieces. You see him making a nice glide slope. He dives it in rounds it out at the ground yet again, rolls out a brake, brings himself to a stop, keeps the glider under control. A little bit of oscillation there. Let's watch for him to fix it. Oh, he's bringing it to a stop. Now watch this, he runs into the wind, he turns the right way, he leans the right way. Every piece of glider control being implemented there. Turns, now look for his oscillation. He's got it under control beautifully, runs, takes off, turps, keeps it into the wind makes his turn. Again, beautiful. You can see every little detail of glider control in there. It's not about just chucking someone in the air. It's about mastering the skill. 
So now he's taking my wife tandem. We don't let you take people tandem unless I'm 100% positive. There's no question. You've got the skills. And so same sort of things. But now he's got an extra large glider that he's flying tandem. And if you notice, he's oscillating a bit. That's not acceptable. We know he didn't do that because he was just doing it perfectly on a 14 square meter. But notice as soon as he gets in the sky, bam, he instantly fixes that oscillation. So it's pretty evident that it was just his first time on that size of a glider doing a tandem. And so he was oscillating. You'll get weird little things on first flights, but they clean up really quick. So again, here's the landing. We already know he's landed, you know, hundreds of times on a glider clear down to 14 square meter, which is incredibly difficult. So there's no question he's gonna do a good job on this landing. As you can watch, comes in to the ground, burns it off into a foot drag landing, sets it down perfectly, maintains perfect control of the glider. Left break hard, left break bury it, and drop it back. Boo yeah! That's it, baby! Hoorah! Nugga bomb! Nothing to tandem instructor in 10 days, baby! That's right, that's right! This is what I'm talking about! Yeah! Let's see anybody else do that! All the way down to the sizes, 5XS, bam, tandem, same dang thing. See how it's very similar, that loading and everything? If you can do a 5XS, man, you can fly tandem! <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> oh yeah. That's awesome. I knew you had it, man. It was beautiful. This just does not happen outside of super training. You have to get every single detail of glider control worked into reflexes step by step over piles and piles of hours of practice. And look at the smiles. Coolest thing ever when you can actually not just take yourself but have the fun and enjoyment of being able to take someone else flying with you and share that experience. But tandem should never, ever be done without absolutely incredible skills. You don't take somebody else's life into your hands when you don't have these skills. It's, it's horrifying to see people out there doing tandems that literally don't have even the most basic skills themselves. So this is how we do it at Super Training. If you ever wanna be able to take passengers, Super Training's literally your only option. There's no way you're gonna get skills like these without actually learning them from someone who will actually teach them piece by piece. You don't just chuck people in the sky. It's about mastering all of the pieces. So he probably got 25 to 60 hours of glider control, working every little detail into reflexes, and then work that into the flight, every dynamic of the flying, then dropping glider sizes one after another, clear down to a 14 square meter, masters that, bam, you can take my wife tandem if you can make it look that perfect with a 5XS, no question, you can take a person tandem and do it perfectly just as he did, which obviously there's no question or I'd never let him do it in the first place. So it's just an extension of how we do it. And that's, that's it, it's about looking at skills. If somebody's charging you for instruction, you're buying skills. And so you darn well better look at those skills. It's hard to comprehend people out there have been so gullible that they go to someone acting as an instructor and just assume that because they're calling themselves an instructor that they must know what they're doing. No, it, you need to look very closely at specific skills and compare the skills of one person to another person because obviously you need to get the very best training in the world and when you're buying training look at the skills of the students let's see anyone else's students in the world go from nothing to flying perfectly a 14 square meter all the way to flying tandem and do it in just 10 days it's that's super training. I mean, the proof is in the skills. It is what it is. It's not about sales pitch. It's these are the skills. That's what it is. It's no BS. It's not about pushing fluff and marketing. It's about trying to get people to just be honest and just compare skill to skill because that's what you're buying when you're buying instruction. So be smart and don't get caught dead getting bogus training. Go to super training. 2020.com supertraining2020.com and you can reserve for the next super training class and or just call 800-707-2525 or email me at ppghero at gmail.com let's go flying